You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. <clears throat> right, are we all here? Okay. As you know, today Vivian is going to do a presentation on the hat making project she did with her class during her last teaching practice. So, over to you, Vivian. Thanks. Um. Mr Yardley has asked me to describe to you the project I did as a student teacher at a secondary school in London. I was at this school for six weeks and I taught a variety of subjects to a class of 14-year-old pupils. The project I chose to do was a hat-making project and I think this project could easily be adapted to suit any age. So, to explain the project... After we'd done the research, we went back to the classroom to make two basic hat shapes using rolls of old wallpaper. We each made, first of all, a conical hat by, um, well, if I show you now, cutting out a circle and then making one cut up to the centre and then, um, overlapping the cut like this. A conical hat that sits on your head. <laughs> The other hat we made was a little more complicated. Um, first of all, we cut out a circle again, like this. Then you need a long piece with flaps on it. I've already made that bit, which I have here. You bend the flaps over and stick them with glue or Pritt stick to the underside of the circle, like this. Again, I've prepared this so that I don't get glue everywhere. <laughs> The pupils do, of course, so you need plenty of covers for the table. And there you have a pillbox hat, as in pill and box. Now, variations and combinations of these two hat shapes form the basis of the pupils' final designs. <laughs>